Hey what's up guys welcome back to the another session in 3G 4G wireless communication systems So today we are going to discuss about doppler fading in wireless systems So we will be discussing particularly about the doppler shift and equation for that one Okay so as you are able to see in the screen itself Okay so these type of questions are generally asked for um, short note type around 3 to 4 marks will be awarded for these type of short notes okay so if you are preparing for any university or college exam then i highly recommend you to check out our whole new playlist regarding 3g 4g wireless communication systems where we have covered around 100 i can say uh, or else i can say 90 to 99% syllabus okay so you can uh, just refer that one this is the whole new playlist please uh, have a look at that one okay So with that said, I will just uh, start our discussion regarding Doppler fading and Doppler shift. So before going to Doppler shift, I will just explain you what is meant by Doppler fading in wireless systems. So Doppler fading actually comes into picture whenever there is a relative motion between the transmitter and the mobile receiver. So let us say you have got a car and uh, you are traveling from one place to another place. and you are currently connected to one base station so something like this base stations are generally assumed to have a shape like this i mean the area that they will be serving so this is the antenna right and it is transmitting the signals now you have got a vehicle here and you are traveling so you will be having some distance when ever you are at this point a and when you come to the point p you will be having some other distance and when you come to the point c you will be having some other distance between the base station and the the mobile which you will be carrying in this vehicle okay so like this whenever there is a relative motion between the base station and the user there comes the doppler fading that means the signal will lose its strength whenever you will be traveling and as the speed of your travel becomes more the fading becomes more and uh, i can say the fading is directly proportional to the sp speed of the vehicle so uh, that is mean that is the basic uh, idea behind doppler fading why it occurs and how does it occur now let us uh, see a particular terminology which is popularly used in doppler fading that is doppler shift and it is denoted as fd so you can see the same thing i am drawing here the base station and a mobile and this is traveling in the forward direction with a velocity v here okay and mobile uh, and it is making an angle of theta for the receiving angle here so i am in receiving signal inclination between the receiver path right so what is meant by doppler spread or doppler shift it is the perceived change in the frequency of the wave due to relative motion between the transmitter and receiver so perceived may be increased or decreased so it is a perceived change in the frequency of wave due to relative motion between transmitter and receiver so it is a change in the frequency so perceived change in the frequency of communication due to the relative motion between the mobile user and the base station so the frequency of communication changes and that is known as doppler shift and it is denoted as fd which will be equal to v by c cos theta into fc where v stands for velocity of light that is 3 sorry uh, velocity of this mobile user sorry so v stands for velocity which is for the mobile user c stands for speed of light 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and uh, sorry kilometer per second and uh, this is cos theta so theta will be the angle between these two lines you can see here and fc is the carrier frequency which is used to uh, make communication between transmitter and this mobile user here right so you can see as the speed increases the doppler spread will also increase because they are directly proportional so as the velocity increases the shift in the frequency or change of this frequency will increase so that's the meaning of doppler shift okay so i hope you like this video found it useful and if you have got any doubt in this one you can just ask in the comment box and if you are not still subscribe the channel 
please do subscribe because we will be uploading these type of videos continuously so thank you guys thanks for watching